Hey you guys, so I'm back today with another review slash hair tutorial. Now girl, I know I'm extra, y'all know I'm extra. I have been talking to my girl Angel. I have been talking to her off and on about using hair grease. She's a greasy babe. Those of you who don't know is, is um, Nezzy Naps. And she uses Blue Magic products. Her hair is beautiful. I'm not gonna deny, deny that, deny that, excuse me. Um, and I have another YouTube friend that uses hair grease. You guys know who she is, Lioness. She's used hair grease um, for her twist out. I'm gonna be using two products by Blue Magic. One of them I have been using off and on, and this will be a separate review just for this product itself. But I will be using this as my styler, excuse me, as my leave-in, but we will be pairing her along with some hair grease. Yeah. Now most people that I've been seeing here on the on the YT, they use the blue one. And I do have the blue one, but I wanted to use it. I also have the coconut oil one, which is a very light weight. Um, this is a little bit heavier. Cause look, grease does not add moisture. This and water is what's gonna help, you know, with the moisture. This is going to lock in the moisture. Grease, oil, butters or sealants okay i'm not expecting my hair to be super moisturized unless i moisturize my hair first so i'm going to be doing a twist out just standard twist out y'all um and i'm going to be doing it on damp hair okay i well let me let me back up i'm going to allow my hair to air dry but i'm going to re-moisturize my hair with water leave in this and then we're going to twist our hair and small to small, medium sized twist. So let's talk about this. Oh girl, I got all types of memories. All types of memories. Why is it that our mama kept everything, my mama kept all our hair stuff in either a tin or a caboodle. And all types of stuff was in, I mean banana clips, those ones with the, those barrettes with the balls, those barrettes that clip, um, nail fouls. It's, so this, the smell of this is bringing me back memories. This and pink oil moisturizers and ass whoopings is what I... <laughs> so let me just read some stuff off of this particular product. Hair and scalp conditioner. Nourish your hair and scalp. I will not be using this on my scalp. When I was relaxed, you guys, I stopped... I rarely, rarely used grease. I used oils on my hair. I started using oils on my hair... It's been so long because um, I, I was relaxed for over 20 years. Once I became, you know, went to college and all that, I started using oil. Give it a try and we're going to see how it works. All right, you guys, so I'm going to come back on cam with my hair freshly cleansed. All right, you guys, so it is the very next day and my hair is still damp. I'm taking down sections of my hair. Um, I do have a water bottle here on the side just in case I need to dampen my hair more. So what I'm going to do, y'all, is add a generous amount of the leave-in conditioner to each section and just a tiny bit of the hair grease because what is going to happen is once you add that um, hair grease to your hair, that is it. It blocks any type of moisture from re-entering your hair. So you want to ensure that before you even apply the grease or the sealant that you have enough, you've added enough leave-in and water, okay? So all I'm doing, I'm also um, combing out my ends there and sectioning off my hair. I have been noticing a lot of women going back to using hair greases and pomades and I've been um, basically <laughs> avoiding these products because of the ingredients. Now, quite as a kept, most, unless you're using all natural products and paying close attention to the ingredients in your products, most hair products for uh, afro textured hair have petroleum or mineral oil excuse me you guys know that i use cholesterols i love cholesterols for deep conditioning um and they generally do have mineral oil and petroleum oil however i do end up rinsing out those products because it's a deep conditioner right so yes you guys i'm continu continuing to twist my hair um so yeah back to to the discussion I've been avoiding grease because as I stated earlier, I stopped using it um, in my early 20s because there are so many different alternatives out there. But I wanted to try this out to see how it would work with my hair now that I've been natural for nine plus years. Ryan Little. <laughs> All 
right, you guys, I am done. This is what my hair looks like up close. I feel greasy. I, I do feel greasy, I'm sorry. So all I'm gonna do is pull my hair back in a low bun and I will keep these in for a day or two, okay? All right, you guys, so it's been a little over a day and I'm getting ready to unravel my hair. Now, you guys, I've been doing my hair for almost 10 years and I can tell after unraveling the first one or two twists how my hair is going to turn out. My hair doesn't feel all that great. Now, the twist out itself, it isn't bad, but it's not all that great e either. There's some areas that were frizzy, um, and I can just tell the more I continue to unravel, the frizzier it would get. Now, this side, I'm going to turn around to the other side here in a second. This side doesn't look too bad, but my back of my hair, the undercarriage, and I hate that I didn't get shots of it, this, it started getting a little frizzy. Now... So for me, you guys, it's a hard no. Um, my hair also feels greasy. My face was getting a little oily in certain areas. It feels a little heavy, and I didn't use a lot of product, which is, I'm really perplexed by that. However, I will say this. I know there are some of you that uh, Blue Grease um, is one of the only products to help to, you to retain moisture, and I think that is fabulous. Look, different products work for different people, okay? For me personally, I don't have any issues retaining moisture using my, you know, current products. So I do not see myself adding uh, grease to my current regimen. I just don't. Um, I also wear my hair a little bit longer out, a little bit longer, you guys. I wear my twist out sometimes, almost two weeks. I just don't see myself wearing a twist out with grease for that long. So yeah, I'm gonna end up putting my hair in an updo, okay? You guys, I'm going to take the Cream of Nature Perfect Edges Edge Control and lay down these edges because, like I said, I'm just going to do a retro updo, my go-to retro updo. So some takeaways with hair grease, you guys. I really do think that it does make a pretty good um, sealant. I just found, like, for me... I don't really need it. The products that I'm currently using work for me. But I will say this, if you have high porosity hair, if you're struggling with retaining moisture, try hair grease. Um, I would try it on my ends first and then work it up the hair shaft in moderation, girl, in moderation. I would definitely have to either clarify my hair or use a shampoo with sulfates to get this grease out, which is not a problem, you guys. Um, but as I stated earlier, I just don't see myself adding it to my regimen because I do extend my wash day sometimes for up to three weeks and I do keep my twists um, sometimes up to three weeks. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and to continue putting my hair in this updo. I have my head scarf on here that I'm going to take off. So, all right, you guys, let me know in the comments section. I know some of you guys do use Blue Magic Hair Grease or even the Softy Hair Grease. Let me know what your experience has been. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.